Alright, so I'll just do a um, walk around and uh, start up of the F-150 Bit of an explanation, as you would have already seen the photos before and after um, So, obviously it's got the 20 inch wheels on there I'm not 100% happy with the wheels I'm probably going to change them I've already changed the colour of them three times I've gone from black to bronze to now white So, I'm thinking about going some 17s We'll see how we go um, Yeah, so hard cover custom made it's a uh, composite aluminium I'll just open that up for you we've got the fuel cell in the back battery which needs painting so it's the same color as the brackets on the fuel cell and uh, the, the hard cover just needs some panels put in with some carpet always a work in progress next step um, after power cruise is um, going to be the interior I'm ripping all that out and starting again I've uh, started to collect most of it I just need to get some, some seats um, it's got all LEDs front and rear all the bezels in the um, around the lights they're all new grills new um, I've just changed it from manual to auto uh, it's so much nicer to drive um, I've got some two inch lowering springs on the way for the front it's got the drop beams in there the rear's um, got an axle flip and it's just had long bars put on um, so that's eliminated the wheel hop I'm going to put a video of the before and after of that later also uh, I'll just give you a bit of a look of the interior and I'll show you the engine bay so this is currently the interior I have sort of redone it once before but uh, this time I'm going to strip it completely and probably go more more of a, a dark black <laughs> a dark black more of a black with everything so black seats with hopefully some white stitching we'll see what we can do there um carpet's going to be black and there's the aeroflow bang shifter i love that thing it's so cool I'll show you the engine bay now So there's the engine, this is the, uh, it's a bit dirty, I could have cleaned it before this. Anyway, um, so it's the third engine for the vehicle, the second one I brought a crate engine, it was chewing about a litre of oil every thousand k's, so over a year I collected all the parts for this and had it built by Arachi Automotive. Um, these guys, they're amazing, they did, uh, they installed my um, automatic gearbox as well. Um, it's just such a strong engine, I can do burnouts all day long, all weekend long, and it's still got no oil leaks, no nothing. Uh, CVF Racing, um, they're really good too for the accessories. Uh, it's an 8 rib belt, so a bit stronger than your normal. And um, they've got a lifetime warranty on everything, so it's so good. Um, I run it on E85, so um, that's that car was custom built by Pros. Pro Systems in um, in America, um, pretty cheap actually, considering uh, it's custom built for the car. Um, yeah. So the engine bay, I'm probably only going to change the guards. I'm going to put some steel guards in there instead of the plastic ones. As you can see, I love my composite aluminium. It's everywhere. Um, right, let's start her up. Quarter headers all tune length and three inch pipes from the collector all the way to the uh, muffler and then dumps just before the diff. So it's got a pretty good note to it. Hopefully, you can hear that quite well on the um, video. It idles quite high, that's because of the E85. If you have any questions, um, just throw them in the comments below and I'll, um, I'll answer them straight away.